What is a normal average gestation period? I mean, I want to learn, I want to, uh, not necessarily through the four walls of the classroom. Of the classroom, yeah, Maybe that's going to put me in a box anyway. Work and then go through the Institute of uh, State mm -hmm. Surveyors and Valuers mm -hmm. of Nigeria, for instance. Mm -hmm. What is the average gestation period, if you're smart, for uh, you to actually become big? You know, to be successful in life, you don't have a tenor. True. A, a success is a process and it's not a destination. True. So it's a process itself. So it depends on how far you want to go. If you want to limit yourself to an estate agent, of course, in three months, you're going to be one. Mm. Mm. But if you want to be a professional estate surveyor and valuer, it takes process. And after you have this certificate, there are something they call CPD, Continuous Professional Development. Document, yeah. development. You still have to develop yourself over time mm. because mm. innovations are coming, technologies are coming, the way they do. Look at, for example, I've not, I, I think only myself and a few of us around there use drone to shoot video for our real estate uh, business. If I have a big property, I take my drones there, I shoot video. Some people will come across and say, ah, what's that? Is that a helicopter? So that means it's a new technology. Yeah. The men that are doing it before, it's not that they cannot do it better than I do. But I'm bringing technology into it. Mm. I'm going to conferences. I'm going to seminars. I'm going to taking certification. I'm doing all this to keep my business alive, mm. to be in the field for a very long time. Mm. So it depends on how far you want to go. If you really want to, the limit of your ability is where you set them. But you on know? the average, before I go on, out on my own, uh -huh. if you're going to advise, how many years do you think I should be in apprenticeship, as it were? Uh, you don't need. Depends. Depends. It depends on your readiness. If you are with the right team, two years be sufficient. Two, within two years, even within one two years, you should be able to say, "Okay, fine, I can handle some. I can handle some sections of real estate." But there are some, some sections you can't really handle in two years, mm. like the solving and evaluation one. Those mm. ones are technical. Mm. And so this, for this you, is it's about adding value. Values, yes, adding and value. And integrity is key. And changing the conventional ways of doing this business. For example, okay. now, if you want to rent a house. In this city, for example, it is believed that if the house rent is 250, they will say something called total package. Mm. That is fraud. What is total package? Conventionally, this national institution of estate survey and value has the conventional rate you should charge the tenant as a professional. So these are the things. What's the percentage? To, um, sometimes five percent. Sometimes it's unnegotiable. But these guys will come about 20 percent. They will say house rent of 250, total package is 500,000. They're yeah, the building, legal. No, they, they don't build in nothing. They just charge you because they know you are vulnerable. Because if you really need the house before you go to them, you must have been homeless in the first instance or about to be homeless. So they take about advantage of your vulnerability. Of your so vulnerability. You, you saw that as a competitive gap. Yes. Is that what you're saying? I, and I saw it as a chance for me to make a change. I saw it as a chance for me to make a change. And so I'm there was activism. In yes, some yes, yes. In, in some ways. And I said, if I'm really going to practice in this profession, I'm going to do it the other way. And I'm going to show the world that there are still people of integrity in this business. In any business, you can't do it all by yourself. As a founder of a business or a principal partner or a CEO or whatever you call yourself, you will have the idea. You start the business. But you need, it's, 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 it's like a moving, it's like a car. Mm. Without other parts, it's, it's, you can't go nowhere. It's you know, a system. Want, it's a system. You, if, you, if one of your tires is flat, you, you are stuck, my dear. True. So you need a team in real estate for you to be a realtor yourself. Yeah. You you must be a marketer first. Yeah. Because the but old you can't business, do it all the, as an the, individual. You can do it all the, with the as modern an individual. With the How many places can you be at the same yeah. time? That's that's the word they say. Internet of opportunity. Internet is the future of the world. Take it or leave it. If I make a post on my Instagram page, I've got like thousands of followers. Yeah. It will reach America, reach... I can boost it to reach 10,000 people in the world. There, and there's, I can no, there's, no, there's no argument about that. But we like, we like to assume that marketing entails a lot more than yeah, I know. internet posts. So what I'm trying to say do you, is... Do, do you have a structured marketing unit? Yeah, everybody on board in our company is a marketer. Because now, now, now if, if, I'm, if I want to be a real estate professional mm -hmm. running my firm, mm -hmm. what kind of marketing strategy would you advise me to mm -hmm. pursue? Okay. With this modern day technology, yes, sir. I will advise you to invest more in, in innovations, 
conferences, seminars, and technology. Please break it down for us. Okay, for example, conferences. If you go to real estate conference, maybe once in a year, they teach you about the new stuff on board. You'll see new marketing tools. Okay. New tools that helps you to do your business more better than you were before. Mm. So those are what conferences we do for you. Confer conferences and expo, we okay. call them. So you will exploit so many numerous conventions. conventions, tools. Like for example, last year I went to uh, National Institute of Estate Management in London. They had a conference in the Victoria Hall. It's about 2,000 feet hall. Mm. You have many tools from Australia, from Canada. There was a, this tool that if, if I manage to get it into my company, yeah. it takes us to a bigger level. Mm. It, it's too comprehensive. I can't just even examine it. So all these things come year in, year out. Mm. So what you have last year is not what you're going to have this year. But what you have this that cost you some money. That, that is why you said you must invest in innovations and invest, technology. Invest. You must invest in innovation and technology to, to take your company. So don't just use all your profit to buy cars or build houses <laughs> and play big man all over the street. No, no, no. You should invest into, you should pull back well, into well, the business. Of course, you have to, even as a real estate uh, professional, if you buy a big car, you put back into the business. Yes, I'll tell you why. If you want to give me a contract of 100 million naira, you want to see how I look. Yeah, well, yeah, I agree. I mean, and that also obtains in every yeah, other so it's business called business packaging. But what I'm saying is this: um, as you invest into those totems, yeah. those totems, yeah, like uh, automobile and technology, office and what have you, you're also advising those who want to enter and play in this profession to invest in themselves. To also invest in themselves by yeah. way of attending conventions. Mm -hmm. Exhibitions, conferences, conferences, seminars, and workshops, and what have you. And learn daily. 